Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to connect Cakewalk by BandLab into VS Visual Synthesizer. This is a Windows only tutorial. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I have here a small project in Cakewalk with a kick, a snare, a hi-hat and a DRC. So let's hear it for now. Okay, and now to route all this information into different channels on VS, what we have to do is start by creating MIDI tracks for each of the tracks that we want to send to VS. So kick, MIDI, snare, MIDI, hi-hat, MIDI, and finally, DRC MIDI. Now we grab all these clips and that we have here. And let's copy them here. And now we have the clips playing on the MIDI tracks. So what I'm going to do is choose the MIDI track that I want to, to route. But first I'm going to go here, insert audio track, and we're going to load our VS. So here I'm going to put VS, and on this audio track we go here to the FX Plus, and we choose Soft Synth VS, okay? So now we have VS on. So now I go back to the MIDI track here, I choose the MIDI track 5, and I choose VS Channel 1. Okay, so now if I go to VS, I already have the kick here, which I can now trigger, and it's been triggered by the kick, so now let's go to the snare, choose VS again, channel 2. So now if I go to the second layer, and I choose for example this ball of fire, channel 2. And it's being triggered now by the snare. So now let's do for the others. So hi-hat MIDI, VS, channel 3. And finally, the RC MIDI, VS, channel 4. Okay, so now let's route this here inside VS. Layer 3, let's choose channel 3. Layer 4, let's choose channel 4. And now here on the third layer, I'm going to choose, for example, this Comet for the hi-hats. Trigger MIDI. Yeah, they're being triggered. And now, for finally, for the bass, let's choose this small circle here. Enabled. Let's change the color. Let's put it a little bit smaller. And now, let's modulate the notes, for example, here on the exposition and it's being modulated by the bass so now the last thing we have to do is route audio to inside VS and the way we do that is by creating a patch point so we go here for example on the track of the kick and I'm gonna instead of going to the master like it is here I'm gonna choose new patch point Okay, so now we don't hear the kick because it's been routed to this patch point. But now if I go to VS and I choose the in here and I can choose the patch point, left, right, stereo, I'm going to choose the stereo, we should be getting the kick because VS is being rerouted to the master. So now if I go here to the audio, we can see that the kick is already being sent to the VS. So Let's choose, for example, now the snare. And I'm going to send the snare also to the patch point. So now you can see that the snare is also being sent to VS. So now I can, for example, here on layer 5, choose, for example, this pattern, enable it, take the brightness out, and it's already being modulated by the, the audio because 
of this modulation here in brightness. I could also use the audio modulator, for example, as you can see. And we got everything from MIDI to audio sent here in Cakewalk to VS. And this was it, guys. I hope it was clear enough. I just showed you that you can route uh, every information from your MIDI tracks and also audio tracks into Visual Synthesizer so you can synchronize visuals with your Cakewalk compositions. This was it for now. So give us a like and a subscribe if you like our content. I will be back with more tutorials and more content really soon. So goodbye.